Hey guys, welcome to Joko Outdoors. And today on this video, I'm gonna go over the Expert Pellet Grill app. Um, you guys have been asking a lot of questions. Here's Savannah. Hi. <laughs> you guys have been asking a lot of questions about this app, about whether or not the app uh, works, how good does it work. I've not had any problems with it yet. Um, I mean, sometimes it does say can't connect, but then I just hit hit the grill again and it works perfectly fine. Um, so we're gonna go through that process and show you what the app looks like, what it does. You can control the prime on there. You can control the temperature. You can see the probe. Um, you can turn the uh, power, if I understand correctly, you can turn the power on and off. I've not really tried that yet because um, usually whenever I'm cooking, I don't want to turn the power off in the middle of a cook. So, but everything that you need it to do, you can you can do with it. Um, so, we're gonna get to that. If if you are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about this video. If you do have experience with this app and you've had any problems with it or anything like that, please go tell us. Tell us what you've experienced so we know what to look for. Um, I have had some people tell me on the grill video they've experienced certain things that I've not yet experienced. And uh, so, you know, I guess I've got to be watching for those things. Uh, we'll kind of go over some of that later on, maybe do another video on that. Um, but we're going to get to uh, the app and I'm going to, hopefully my phone will stay lit up long enough where I can, uh, you know, it doesn't black out for you guys, but we're going to get to that app, but hopefully we can, you know, we're going to start out, show you the, what the app looks like going into the app, showing all the controls. It's going to be very quick. It doesn't take very long to go through that. Um, so, you know, we're going to go through all that. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you for the return viewers. Thank you for the new viewers. Um, but we're gonna get into this, walk you through that a little bit. Hopefully it'll answer some of your questions. If not, uh, ask us in the comments. We usually try to respond to those pretty quick. Um, and just, you know, let us know what you think about it, all right? Let's get to this app. All right, guys. So we're going to, I've got my app right here, okay? See if you see that. Right there. See expert. It just says expert grill. We're gonna, you're going to have it pop up right here. It'll say expert grill and then it'll give you some kind of number. Um, let me see if I can get that brightness a little better for you guys. So... You'll see it'll say something like that. All right. So then you will click on that. All right, so mine connected right away. Now, on here, let's see if I can walk you through this. On here, I've got it set at 215, okay? It's taking a minute to heat up. Um, you also have a meat probe on here. You can read your meat probe. Uh, right now the internal temp is setting at 184. Um, but you can see that it's it's on its way of working up. Now you can adjust this. You can hit the plus or minus. 220, 225. And then it will automatically adjust the set for you. So you don't have to press anything and hold it down to set it. Um, down here you have a timer so I don't know if you guys can see that little clock right there that's a timer you can click that you can set a time for it to go off okay for it to turn off and you set that timer and it will turn off at that timer after so many hours and minutes it will turn off all right you have your prime right here you just hit your prime button, does the same thing as it does on the grill. Your temp, your temp reading, Fahrenheit, Celsius, 
if you want to change that over. Um, you can't really control the fan or any of this stuff, but you control these two with the prime button. All right. Then you have your power button up here. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it for, that's pretty much it for the app. It can do a little bit more things than what you can do on the, uh, on the grill itself. But, uh, so we're going to prime it real quick. See it turn the auger on right there. You can see the auger right there. Um, and turn that auger on. So it should start heating up right here in just a second. And you can see it's, it, it's set on smoke. You can, and that's the thing about this grill. That's the thing about this grill. It fluctuated a little bit. It must have had a wind gust or something. Um, this grill, the smoke setting is the lower settings. Okay. Where your higher settings are for barbecuing. All right. All right, guys. So, you know, that's just the, that's the run through of the app. It connected right away for me. Sometimes it does say disconnect, but then I can just go back on there and can, you know, hit it again. It connects perfectly fine. Then I can go through the steps like uh, I showed you on there. Um, we do have a brisket on. I did not record that video. Um, I did not record that cook. Um, I want to get some other ones out there before I go back and start re-recording stuff like, you know, pork butt and and uh, chicken wings. I mean, we've already done some of these videos. Um, so we do have, I'm trying to master the ribs. I'm trying to get that down. Um, we have some ribs in the freezer and hopefully we're going to be cooking those soon and do a video over that. So you guys stay tuned for that stuff. We will record those. Um, so uh, we also have some uh, chicken video coming up uh, i think i'm going to do chicken breasts on the grill um i've done it once already barbecue chicken breast but we didn't show the taste test and how good it actually tasted um we're going to do that this time we're going to have some family over um it's a birthday weekend for us and we are uh we are going to have a couple of different guests over with birthdays and we're doing this real big cook so um, I might show the I might show the brisket. I know we're going to focus on the chicken, um, so y'all stay tuned for that video as well. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've experienced anything different with this app, if you had have tried it, um, if you can hear the squeaky in the background, it's our new puppy. Um, we got a new puppy, and she's just full of joy and playful. Um, but uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did experience anything different leave a comment below let us know what you've experienced let us know if there's anything that we missed so far me going over the app looking at it a few times it does seem like that's what i've learned it's pretty basic it does work um it does what i need it to do hopefully it'll do what you need it to do as well um but again if it has given you any problems uh, do let me know now understand whenever i'm connected on here i'm probably a good 25 feet away from my grill and i'm inside so it does read fa fairly well I've, i had heard some people say that they couldn't get it to read unless they were right there at the grill i don't know if maybe the app was messing up at that point in time or maybe the connection wasn't good i've not experienced that yet um this app has worked perfectly fine it doesn't reach i can't go 100 yards away and it pick up usually have to be within close proximity um, you know inside the house or maybe at my truck or something like that um, but instead of going straight to the grill to look at it I can pull that up and, and kind of monitor things um, so you know hopefully this answered some of y'all's questions again if you do have any experiences different than what we do leave it below if you have any questions leave it below um, go download the app if you have this grill uh, go download the app and check it out. We will leave links to all these, uh, you know, to, to the videos and stuff. I'm going to leave a link for the um, the grill unboxing. We'll leave a link for the brisket video um, and probably our pork butt video. 
leave those on here throughout so check those out um, go if you if you've missed them because I know I'm saying that at the end of the video if you've missed the links go back and check them out look at the videos leave comments on those as well again don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we put up a video um, give us a big thumbs up share our videos let YouTube know that you enjoy watching us that you enjoy our content so that they will go and start suggesting us to uh, other viewers and, and on uh, other videos and stuff we do appreciate you guys without you guys we would not have a channel um, our channel would not grow without you so we definitely appreciate you guys we thank you guys we love you guys and remember this is God's country y'all have a blessed day